Hello everyone and welcome back to another metal casting video. This here is just a glimpse of a future lost foam cast. A Minecraft sword. But who knows, it might end up like projects like I have here that I created out of foam but I have yet to metal cast. Today I'm going to be metal casting this one. It's a taller version of one I made in the past that were simple candle holders. It's inspired from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And if you've never seen the other video, I would definitely check that one out. As usual, I'm gonna be using my Vivor 12 kg propane furnace, and I'm gonna be melting down some scrap aluminum. These are just gonna be aluminum cutoffs from past lost foam castings that I've done. While I wait for this aluminum to melt down, I'm going to put together my lost foam casting mold. And if this is something you're new to, this is a super easy way to metal cast. All you need is a container and dry sand. And I mean completely dry. No moisture in this sand whatsoever. So I didn't film it, but I did preload the bottom of the container with sand. I then placed the foam pattern inside, continued filling it all the way to the top with that sand and you can see by the dust that this sand is completely dry once filled to the top vibrate the container and place a pouring cup right over top of the foam this is where you're going to pour the molten aluminum into now let's go check on that metal it's fully molten and it's time to add more before adding any additional aluminum to the hot crucible, I always like to preheat it first. I also like to preheat my lifting and pouring tongs before handling the crucible. So I do still have some molten aluminum left over in the crucible. What I'm going to do now is preheat the graphite ingot mold that I'll be pouring that into.
So I don't know if you guys noticed it when I pulled it out of the sand, but this pattern did not completely fill out. If you remember from the beginning, those spikes were really long. And unfortunately, the metal was not hot enough to make it all the way down to the very bottom. I did check the temperature before pouring and I had the aluminum at 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, but that just wasn't enough. So because of the failed cast, I'm just gonna have to make some modifications to the spikes. And I'm gonna be cleaning up those spikes using the Vivor belt sander. And there we have it, almost perfectly uniform spikes, all four of them. The next thing I have to do is clean up all that black soot or whatever it is off of the aluminum to shine it up. And believe it or not, I actually have one of the failed casts from before right on my bench. This here is one of the candle holders that I made a few years ago that I referred you to in the beginning of the video. This one was a failed cast too, and I really couldn't do anything with this one. So at this time, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this, but I did tap the bottom with a quarter inch 20 all thread. And I brought out my lathe to try to make some sort of handle. Like, what am I gonna do, use it as a torch? I don't know. It was just an idea, and I was having a little fun because I don't really use my lathe all that often. So here is the final handle that I made. I then tapped the handle and fastened it to the headpiece. And I still don't know if I'm going to put a candle in it or not. Maybe it's just a good weapon. 